Hello there, everybody. Blessings to you. Blessings. I'm going to let the room fill here, but I have some prophetic prayer points to prophesy, pray into the nation of Ukraine and everything that's going on currently right now with Russia and Ukraine and the nations of the earth. Uh, hallelujah. And of course, uh, there's so much travesty atrocity taking place right now in the nation of ukraine the border the airports different things taking place uh, but i believe that there's some prophetic insights and there are some things that god has put on my heart and pressed upon me and my spirit that i want to release to you and i want to release over the air and the broadcast and i want to prophesy and pray over the nation of Ukraine, amen. But I'm gonna let the room fill right now, of course. I'm sure many of you are seeing different uh, news feeds and news streams, different articles, pictures, videos of all the atrocity, the destruction, the havoc that's going on in Ukraine, the borders of Ukraine, the airports, uh, many different areas all across Ukraine. Can I get a Amen. But listen, I have some prophetic prayer points. I believe God has put and impressed upon my heart as I was in prayer today. Uh, I just felt these uh, prophetic insights and prophetic points to share with you. Amen. So I'm just going to let the room begin to fill a little bit more because I believe there's certain things that God has put and God has said that the world needs to hear. And of course, everyone's praying for Ukraine. Uh, but I believe not only is prayer the most important thing, but we also need to declare the word of the Lord. We need to get a word from God. Amen. And I believe right now there is a word for Ukraine. There is a word to share and to release in this time, in this moment, in this hour. Hallelujah. Shaka rabba karabraska. So I want to let you begin to come and come into the room, into the broadcast. Because as I was in prayer today, I felt these strong urges and I felt these strong points of insight to declare and to prophesy over the nation of Ukraine. Can I get an amen? This is Dr. Ben Lim here. Of course, what's going on right now with Ukraine and between Ukraine and Russia really what's going on in America and the nations of the earth. It's not a surprise. When you have a fraudulent president, when you have, uh, you know, uh, people coming into positions of power and authority uh, that don't have clear policies, that are not even sound in their right mind, and that are surrounded by globalist, uh, you know, one world order, uh, you know, elitists that are, have planned for the downfall of nations and regions and people groups. Let me tell you, God will not be mocked. Psalm 2, why do the nations rage? Why do the nations rage? Why do kings, presidents, why do people plot in vain? Because God sits on the throne and he laughs. He laughs at his enemies. And let me tell you right now, God has a final word. God has the final word over the nation of Ukraine. And let me tell you right now, I believe that Ukraine is not going to come to an end. I believe Ukraine is not going to come to an end. So I have five things to share with you as I was in prayer today. I know many people are thinking that this is the beginning of World War III. Uh, of course, uh Gog and Magog, uh, you know, according to the book of Ezekiel and prophetic books in the word of God. Many of us, we've had our eyes on Russia. We've had our eyes on Israel and the Middle East and North Korea. But I want to share these five things over you because I believe right now, <clears throat> not only do the people of God need to pray, but we also need to pray for the revealed Revelation, the word of God to come forth. And I believe there's certain things that God has put in my heart that I feel so strong from the Lord. 
and I want to share and release to you, to the nation of Ukraine. So I want you to share this on your wall. I want you to give me some hearts and likes. And if you're in prayer today, this evening, wherever you were watching from, if you are watching what's going on in the news and the headlines and news feeds, and you are burdened with prayer, burdened with intercession, and there is, uh, you know, concern, fear, and worry creeping into your heart. I want to release these five things. I believe God is and has spoken over the nation of Ukraine. Irina Kerr, are you from Ukraine? I see the Ukrainian flag there. But I want to release these five things here, okay? Uh, number one, uh, I saw with this whole situation, okay, I saw that many souls will be saved. And the church of Jesus Christ, the Christian faith, is only going to flourish more and more. And I saw the Acts Church arising out of the nation of Ukraine. And I saw Christians flourishing. And Christians, thank you so much, Irina Kerr, praying with you and your family and your mother. So the first thing I want to release over you and over Ukraine, over the air, the atmosphere, into the situation. Number one, I saw that many believers are going to be strengthened and many people are going to turn to Jesus Christ in midst of this turmoil, in midst of this atrocity. I believe the church is going to grow. The church of Jesus Christ is going to rise up stronger than ever before. And many souls are going to be saved and won with the gospel of Jesus in Ukraine, in the borders of Ukraine, uh, in the nation of Ukraine. The church is going to rise and be stronger than ever before. And many more people are going to be won with the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ in the nation of Ukraine. Can I get an amen? The second thing that I saw um, is that this will not be the end of Ukraine. This will not be the end of the country, the people group, the nation of Ukraine. This will not be the end. I believe this will not be the end of Ukraine, but there will be a new beginning. I believe Ukraine, this is not the end for you. Although it seems like Russian troops are surrounding you and are coming in, I believe this is not the end of Ukraine. This is not going to be the end of this country. God has a great plan for the nation of Ukraine. And the word of God says that out of every people group, out of every ethne, out of every ethnic group, out of every ethnic nation, God will reserve and preserve a people unto him. So I believe, number two, this will not be the end of Ukraine. As people think, as people are seeing it or thinking it, as they're seeing on the news, this will not be the end of Ukraine. Number three, I saw a new Ukraine rising out of the ashes. The word of God says that out of the ashes, he will turn into gladness. Out of the ashes, you will sing again. Out of the ashes, you will arise. So the third thing I saw and I felt to my spirit concerning this situation between Ukraine and Russia, number three, there will be a new Ukraine rising up out of the ashes. I declare that in the name of Jesus. A new Ukraine will rise up out of the ashes, out of the rubble, out of the smoke, out of the shaking, out of the atrocity, out of the injustice, out of the war and the warfare, there will be a new Ukraine that will rise up out of the ashes. Can I get an amen? Sure, The fourth thing that I saw, I actually saw bordering nations and bordering regions surrounding Ukraine coming together. I saw there was going to be new unity movements 
with Ukraine, with the surrounding countries and nations of Ukraine coming together to fight together and to stand together. So the fourth thing I saw was that the bordering nations of Ukraine are going to come together and there's going to be a new sense of unity, newness and oneness, Pax Romana, with the nation of Ukraine and the surrounding nations. And they're going to stand and fight together. And, of course, that whole area region, the Slavic nations, uh, otherwise known as the Iron Curtain, or Red Nations from back in the day in history. I believe that some of these countries are going to come together and they're going to form a new type of unity and a new type of unified movement to stand, unite, and to fight together. So that's the fourth thing that I saw taking place. The fifth thing I want to say and declare is I believe this is not World War III. I want to tell you boldly, I believe this is not World War III. And this is not the beginning of World War III. We all know that, of course, many people are saying this is the end times. The end is coming. Jesus is coming. I believe this is not the beginning of World War III. Of course, what happened in Afghanistan. Of course, what happened in Hong Kong. Uh, of course, you know, different Russia and China is making moves against and amongst different nations surrounding smaller countries. Currently, right now, Russia, China, and of course, America. These are the three great world superpowers on planet Earth. But I believe this is not the beginning of World War III. This is not World War III. Listen, I want you to get that fear and that end times-itis out of your soul, your mind, your spirit. I believe this is not World War III. This is not the beginning of World War III. I believe right now there are many nations to be one for Jesus, many ethnic nations, people groups that still have yet to hear the gospel, good news of Jesus Christ. I believe this is not World War III. This is not the beginning of World War III. And I believe that World War III is further down the line. Okay. And last but not least, I want to say, I believe something great is coming up out of this. Some great is coming up out of this, out of the situation. Of course, to the natural eyes, to the eyes of man. And of course, we're here home safe in America or wherever you're watching from. I believe that some great is coming up out of this. As we are in this Purim season, where the lots are turning, where justice and judgment is being released. As we are in this Purim season, I believe something great is coming up out of this. And I believe that God's word, God's plan will be fulfilled and will come to pass. So these are five prophetic prayer points for us to pray into. God has impressed us on my heart. I've been praying all day. And as I was in prayer, I felt the Lord show me certain things. And I felt the Lord impress these things on my heart. Number one, many souls will be saved. And the church of Ukraine is going to flourish. And the church is going to arise and be greater in number and be stronger than ever before. Number two, this is not the end of Ukraine. This is not the end of Ukraine as a nation, as a people group, as an ethne. This is not the end of Ukraine. There is a new beginning coming. Number three, I saw Ukraine rising up out of the ashes. Remember the word of God says that he will turn your ashes into gladness, your mourning and sadness and sorrow into great joy. So I believe out of the ashes, the rubble, the destruction, there will be a new Ukraine 
that will rise up out of the ashes. Number four, I saw a new unity movement with the surrounding nations, countries, different nations that surround Ukraine. I saw a new unity with some of the different surrounding countries with Ukraine that will stand together, fight together, and be together. So I saw different nations because the different nations within Eastern Europe and in Western Europe, they know what's coming. They know what's going to take place or what may be pending or what may be looming. But I saw different nations coming together with Ukraine, standing together in a new unified oneness type of movement. Remember, there's power and in, in unity. There's power and number. And the fifth thing I believe is that this is not World War III. This is not going to be another war, a great world war. This is not going to be World War III. This is not the beginning of World War III. And I believe something great is coming up out of this. Not only do we need to pray, but we need to believe in the prophetic rhema word of God. What is God doing in midst of this? What is happening beyond this? What's taking place prophetically with redemption that is beyond what meets the natural eyes? In Ukraine, I speak to you and I prophesy to you. A great church will arise out of Ukraine. And this is not the end of your nation or your people group. A new Ukraine will arise. Can a nation be born again in a day? Yes, it can. Can a nation be born again in a day? Yes, it can. And I believe World War III is still down the line, church. I believe World War III is, is way down the line. There's many more things that need to take place and happen for a world war to take place. Can I get an amen? So I want us to pray into these things because as I was in prayer today, these are five things that God impressed in my heart that I felt the Lord speak to me and show me of what's going to take place with Ukraine. It's not enough to pray. Prayer is everything. Prayer is important. But it's not just a time to pray. But we need to get strategy. We need to get revelation. We need to get word. And we need to stand together in the redemptive, hopeful, prophetic future insight intel of what else may be taking place that we don't see, that the news media, news channels do not cover. Amen. Ukraine, will, Ukraine, you will arise and there will be a new Ukraine. Lord, I thank you for everyone who's watching today that as we pray for the nation of Ukraine, we come into agreement with these prophetic words. and We come into agreement with what you are doing and what you are saying. We know that the enemy is moving rampantly, prowling around like a roaring lion looking for whomever it can devour. But we know, Father, that you have a great hope for the nation of Ukraine. Can a nation be born again in a day? I believe in this Purim time season. The lots are changing. Turnaround is here. And there's going to be judgment and justice in the nations of the earth. God, I thank you for the nation of Ukraine. You are far from done with this wonderful, beautiful nation. And you are far from finished, from fulfilling the plans that you've set and ordained before the beginning of creation for this country. Can I get an amen? Lord, I thank you. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Sharabakarabrakata. God bless you, Ukraine. This is not the end. This is not the finish of you. This is just the beginning. The church will arise and be strong and multiply. New souls 
will be one. The church will be strengthened. There will be a new unity with surrounding nations. And I believe this is not World War III. I believe this is not the beginning of World War III. I believe right now that God's plans and purposes are going to continue to take place and happen for the nation and the people group of Ukraine. Let's stretch out our hands and agree in prayer. Lord, I thank you that your word will not fail. Every single plan and prophetic word will come to pass. I thank you, Father. Release miraculous intervention. Let the attacks of the enemy stop now. Release the hosts of heaven. Release angelic hosts and assistants. And I thank you for the fear of God that is coming. Once again, as I started in the beginning of this broadcast, why do the nations rage? Why do the nations go forth in turmoil and try to plot their vain plans? For it is God who sits in the heavens above and he laughs. For God laughs because he knows what's coming. And let me tell you, something good and great is coming in the midst of all of this. This is Dr. Ben Lim here. Pray for Ukraine. Pray into these five prophetic words and insights. As I believe the Lord has put this on my heart and has shown me certain things that's taken place in the spirit and will take place in the natural. God bless you, this is Dr. Ben Lim. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. PST, I'm releasing our monthly prophetic word, the prophetic word of the month for the month of March. God bless you, this is Dr. Ben Lim. See you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. PST, and watch a new Ukraine arise. God bless.